long time no see. Um, gonna film a quick haul for you guys. Um, I know this isn't like my usual setup. I just want to switch things around. But I currently have a bunch of goodies that I got at Marshall's. So like I said, we have a huge haul. So the first thing I picked up was this Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. I really do like these. They work really good. Um, this one's in the shade Into the Blue. I don't know if you can see it. But uh, I believe this is like a limited edition one. I don't think you can get this anymore. Um, it looks like this. It's like a blue and purple shift to it. So that's what it looks like. It's really pretty. Let me go ahead and swatch it for you. I really do like these. They're like super pigmented. So yeah, that was the first thing I got. And this was $8.99. And you know what? That's actually kind of pricey to me. I've actually seen them for like $6.99. Next thing I got were these um, Urban Decay Moon Dust Liquid Shadows. Oh, they're really pretty. These were both $7.99. I got this color Vega and Solstice. One's like this blue, another one's like this um, pinky reddish tone. This is what they look like. Out of the packaging, they're very glittery and they remind me of the Stila ones. This one is in Solstice. This is what the like, applicator looks like. Kind of like a lip gloss applicator. I'll go ahead and swatch it, and then I'll show it to you guys. It's really pretty. So it's this one. It has like a like a burnt red kind of copper shift to it. Okay, so this is what the next one looks like. I'm going to swatch it right next to the Stila one. So this is Vega from the Urban Decay. This one is Vega. It's like this blue. It's kind of patchy, but it's really pretty. And then this one's the Stila, and then this one is the other Moon Dust. So yeah, so I got these two, and I'm really excited about these. I don't have any in my collection. Yeah, I was super excited to find these because I don't own any, and I saw uh, Manny just posted a video, Manny MUA, um, and he had bought this one and I saw and I was like, oh my god, I want it, I need it, and I found it. Next thing I got were these. These are the Kat Von D Glimmer Veils. They're liquid lipsticks. I thought they were like just like glitter toppers, kind of like the Lime Crime ones. But um, these are actually liquid lipsticks, so they try it down. So yeah. I got two of these. They were $7.99 each. And I have the shades Rocker and Thunderstruck. This is what they look like outside the packaging. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch them for you. And I have swatched them already. I really do like them. They're really pretty. I just haven't worn them yet because I wanted to do the haul first. So this one is Thunderstruck. It's like a champagne gold. It's really pretty and really reflective. And then the next one is Rocker. <laughs> and this one, oh, it's so pretty. This one's more pigmented than the other one. The only thing is, uh, this one does stain. I have swatched it, so it left like a residue after. This one's like an orangey red color. So I have some more from Kat Von D. I got these studded kiss lipsticks and these are $5.99 each in the shade Pee Off, Motorhead, and Hawkwind. So they're like red and brownish colors. So this is what Pee Off looks like swatched. It's like a brown with some like purplish red iridescent glitter in it. So the next one is Motorhead. This is what it looks like. It's like a burgundy shade. It's really pretty. The last one is Hawkwind. It's like this really pretty mauve nude. It's this one. 
It's really pretty. This one is like the one I'm most excited about. Next thing I got was this Becca lipstick and these are the Lush Lip Color Balm in Black Violet. This was also $5.99. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's really nice. I really like that it's clear like that. It's like this purpley color. So this is Black Violet. This is the Becca one. It's actually this one. Uh, it's really like sheer. It. I saw Balm and you know what, maybe I wasn't thinking right, but it's like a colored chapstick in a way. And it's super glossy. I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe if I put it like over lip liner or something, but yeah, I was thinking it was going to be like not like this at all, but I mean, that's what I get. But I'm still kind of excited about it, I guess. Last lip product I picked up was this one. This is the Anastasia Liquid Lipsticks. This one was $7.99 and I got the shade Trouble. So if you haven't seen how they look, this is how they look. Uh, this one is, like I said, in the shade Trouble. Uh, it's like a, like a light muted, uh, I want to say like purple, like mauve color, I'm guessing. I really do like these. These ones dry down. This is it. This is in the color Trouble. So I'm really excited about this one. I do like their formula. Their lip... Like, uh, I can't speak. <laughs> I do like their formula. Their liquid lipsticks are really good. I have a lot of them in my collection. So I'm excited that I did find this one. So we just finished going through all of the lip products that I got. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into this. And these are makeup brushes. This is actually a BH cosmetics uh, brush set. I don't think I've ever tried their brushes, so I'm actually really excited about this. This is the Aurora Lights 10-piece brush set with cosmetic bag. This was $12.99. That is like such a steal. Alright, so this is what it looks like. It comes in a bag like this. Uh, the back is the same, same print or whatever. And you get 10 brushes in this set. So I'm really excited to use these. And I'm not sure if they're any good. I really do like cheap brushes like the e.l.f. and the Real Techniques. So I'm hoping these are just as good. Next thing I got was this Namaste in India. This is a cargo eyeshadow palette. I'm not sure if these are limited edition or if they still carry them. If so, I'll go ahead and like link everything down below so you can go ahead and purchase it yourself. This was actually $7.99. So this is what it looks like. I really do like the packaging. I think it's so, 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 so pretty. And then it opens up like this. Just remove the plastic. So this is what it looks like. It has like these grayish purple colors and blues and like gold and bronzes. It's really pretty. Um, the layout reminds me a lot of the Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. But yeah, this is what it looks like. This is how it opens up. It's magnetic. It just shuts like that. So yeah, I'm super, super excited to try this. I actually got another BH Cosmetic item. This is that it's my Ray Ray, I think that's how you say it, um, eyeshadow palette. This was $6.99. And it looks like this. And it's another magnetic palette. So this one is actually pretty cool. It has a mirror. I'm not going to show you the mirror though. But, so it has your eyeshadows here. So those are the eyeshadows. And then it has like contour and highlight in the bottom. And yeah, I'm really excited about this. I saw this. I'm I have a few uh BH cosmetic palettes already and they're actually really good. I really do like the quality of these. So yeah, if you see this one, check it out. Like get it. So apparently my Marshalls had like a lot of BH cosmetic stuff because I picked up another 
BH Cosmetic Palette, and this is the Royal Affairs Palette. I've seen it online. Uh, it didn't really, like, intrigue me, per se, but when I saw it in person, I really did think it was beautiful, and I picked it up. This one was $7.99. Go ahead and open it for you guys. So this is what the packaging looks like. And then... So this is what it looks like. It has some color, but the color isn't like completely overpowering. And there's a lot of neutrals and like bronzes and coppers. So we're on our last item for the haul, but don't worry. Eventually I'll have some more hauls coming up. I've got to film like two other ones and then... You know, maybe I'll get into my makeup collection. I've been wanting to film one for you guys. Let me know if you guys want to see that, though. So, the last thing I got for this haul, it's a big one. It was actually this. I'm not sure if you can see it. This was definitely, like, a holiday collection. Like, I know right off the bat because I can tell by the names. This was actually $14.99, and it's upside down. Sorry. <laughs> so this is actually the I Heart Revolution Heart Heaven set of five highlighters for the face and eyes. So yeah, that's what it looks like. I'm going to take each one out and show you individually. When you take it out, it looks just like this. The first one in the collection is Marzipan Heart. And it looks like this. Let me see if I swirl it. Looks like this. Let me go ahead and swatch it too. So that's what it looks like. Oh, it's really pretty and like super white. I'm digging that. <laughs> then we have Candy Cane Heart. And this one I thought was really cute. Like it's so cute. Definitely like really Christmassy. And let me do this one, because you kind of have to, like, swirl it together. So, it looks like this. It's like a pinky reddish highlight. Definitely a pink one. Yeah, pink, because the red turns it kind of pink. I don't know if you can see it. They're really glowy and super pretty. But, yeah. So, this one's Candy Cane Heart. Next one we have is the Apple Cinnamon Heart. Like, these names are making me so freaking hungry. But this is what it looks like. That one's really pretty. It has, like, five shades in one. So, I don't know how I'm supposed to get all of them. But, okay, so it's, like, a goldish color. I don't know if you can see it. Let me go ahead and swatch it. Yeah, it's, like, a bronzy gold. So that's the color right there. You can see like it has a bronze and gold shift to it. Next one, Snowflake Heart. And this one, ooh, that's super bright. It's like a white, like a straight out white highlight. So I'm pretty excited about this one too. But they're all like really beautiful. So this one is Snowflake. See how white it is? It's almost like white silver. And then this one was the marzipan one. So there's a difference. Like if you look at it at this angle, this one's more like um, champagne. This one's like white. And then this one is the last one. This one is gingerbread heart. Ooh, this one's really pretty. Oh my god. Okay. So this thing just fell out. Um, this one is gingerbread art. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it for you guys now. And try to mix all the colors as best I can. Yeah, this one is definitely like darker. I think it might be a little too dark for me. Yeah, it's going to be darker for me. But this is the color. It's like a brown bronze. Like a dark brown. Like this one is like goldish bronze. And then this one's like a dark bronze. So yeah, that's what they look like. And that's actually everything that I have to show you guys. Alright guys, so that is my Marshalls haul for today. 
Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what was your favorite down below. And also, if you see any of these items and you pick them up, go ahead and tag me in your photos. Follow me on Instagram at thrifts by Liz. I just want to say one more thing. Like, if you guys go to Marshalls, because I know this is, like, pretty popular on uh, YouTube. I always see videos, like, pop up in my feed, and I love watching them. And I just love Marshalls in general. It's one of my favorite stores, like... That and the thrift store. Like, I'm always at those two places. But if you guys do um, shop there, like, here's a couple of tips that I found work for me. One thing I found that always, like, is number one, like, okay, I'll see something and I'll be like, oh my god, like, they have this item. But always, like, check the packaging. If you can't because it has, like, those security boxes on them or, like, um they're taped like if you see that it's fully taped and it doesn't look tampered with still check it because sometimes like it looks like it's fine and then you open it and like something's broken like a shadow could be broken or it doesn't matter what it is like I've seen lipsticks that have been swatched and it's like that's so disgusting you get me like someone else is gonna want to buy this and if you they don't check it and they get home and they see that someone else has used it, like, you don't know what that person has, you don't know where it's been, you don't know if it was in some kid's mouth playing with it, like, you really don't know. So, for sanitary purposes, like, if you are gonna check something, don't swatch it. I know, even if it's already swatched, like, just don't do it. It's not fair for, like, the person who really wants it, and then... You know, they accidentally buy it and they see that because I don't think at Marshalls you can't return makeup. At least my Marshalls doesn't allow me to do that. So, for sanitary purposes, like, just be careful. Um, I know sometimes the employees will think, like, you're trying to steal it. But just let them know, like, hey, I just want to see if it's broken. You know, I'm paying for it. I know I can't return it. And if you tell them, like, I'm pretty sure they're going to be fine with it because... Um, the employees at my store are, like, always okay with it. So, yeah, I just want to give you guys, you know, that, like, one little tip. So, yeah. Thanks for watching my video. I'll see you on the flip side, guys.